welcome back uh, uh, so so today's tutorial uh, we shall learn to reduce the logical volume so in my earlier tutorial i talked about how to extend the logical volume and this is the the next continuation for that and we are going to reduce we are going to learn uh, how to reduce the logical volume and we'll have a live example for that okay so let's start the process so first of all watch this uh, ppt for uh, your uh, better understanding We'll start the process now okay so I log into my uh, virtual machine and uh, I have this system with me where so I have checked already that uh, <clears throat> so I have mounted this file system earlier <clears throat> which you might have seen so if you haven't seen that please watch this that video I'll be sharing uh, that link here so you see now currently uh, the size of the uh, LV is 930 MB okay uh, so we are going to reduce it to some let's uh, you know lower value okay uh, so how do we do that so first of all uh, you know like you, you if you have to go to file system and if there are any necessary files that you, so you might want to back this up so please uh, note it down that you are doing it at, at your own risk and I'm doing it for only for an example okay uh, so please be careful while reducing the uh, LV because if there is any file which is there in the reduced sector that may be lost okay so the first step is to back up your files and then then what we are going to do is we are going to unmount the file system which will be the first step so unmount and then the file system which is this one okay so unmount is done okay let me just do it again the spelling was wrong so I have unmounted the file system so if I do now that file system is not there okay what is the next step we have to check the consistency of for any error of the file system so we'll do e2 fsck and the file system which is uh, I think dev uh, my vg1 and then my lv1 okay so we checked it for consistency so it looks fine so <clears throat> in fact you can also do e2fsck minus ff and then the file system so it will check even in more detail so it will give you more information about this like what it is doing it is checking the directory it is checking the connectivity and inode and all that okay so it looks good okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to reduce it to some lower size correct so before we do that we have to uh, uh, so current size was 900 more than that okay so we'll just set it to a lower size using this resize to fs command and the logical volume <coughs> okay uh, so you can give this name also which is the lv path and then let's say I want to set it to 500 MB okay so now you see what is happening resizing the file system on this to 500 MB so the file system is now 500 MB okay so now this is the file system resizing now we are actually going to reduce the logical volume size so at any point you seem like uh, you don't know the syntax you can simply refer this uh, this manual okay so so I'll just say reduce minus capital L and then the you want to reduce by what size okay so I would say I, w I want to set it to uh, let's say I want to reduce it to 
you know so there are two ways to do that okay so lv display if i do lv lv display so currently the current lv size is 968 mb okay so we want to set it to let's say 500 mb okay so lv reduce minus capital l so let's say i, I would reduce it by uh, how much 468 mb okay and then the logical volume path okay so reducing the size to 500 mb so you have to give the uh, the amount of the size by which you want to reduce so i wanted to reduce from 968 mb to 500 mb so i said minus 468 mb so you see the warning here reducing active logical volume to 500 okay this may destroy your data file system etc so you have to acknowledge this do you want to reduce it yes so now see what is happening so your your logical volume is changed from 968 to 500 mb which is 125 extent logical volume successfully resized okay now if you just do lv display lv display so you would be seeing that your size is 500 mb and of course your volume group will also be having some extra space so earlier there was zero space here so now your volume group is having 468 mb free which you can use for other purposes okay so now we have <coughs> reduced the size again after this you, what you can do is you can check the uh, consistency so if we have messed it up of, or any any issue has occurred with the file system so you can simply uh, check it one more time <coughs> so we we, we we are good here so if if you find any error here you that means you have messed up with the file system okay so now what we are going to, to do is we are going to mount it again so mount <coughs> The, the 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 file system and then to the target point the mount point so i think it should be mount and then mount point two okay so this is it so let me check if it is mounted and with a reduced size yes it is mounted with a reduced size which is 500 mb of course there are some uh, data is lost because of uh, you know admin uh, space utilization and all okay so yeah, that's all in this tutorial and uh, you might have learned something from this and uh, of course if it is as helpful to you please share with your friends and uh, if you have any questions anything you want to suggest of course you, can, you are welcome to comment thanks for watching